the gifts of the Lord are still openly available to anyone who professes a faith. And typically that is a faith that involves some form of understanding of Christ. That does not mean that you are going to hell if you have a different faith. Despite my aversion to the perversions of the Muslim and Indian world. I cannot speak to that religion. I have read the Quran. I would like to read the Vedas, and that is my lawful right of the hobbies of me. As a priest with a priesthood, it is important that I read as much as I can about God. That is not immorality. You see, in my life, I found the Lord's house because a woman that I love showed me a tool. And that tool has not made me a fool. It has actually taught me many things through the house of the Lord. That tool has kept me safe from the perverted people who continue to abuse me. But isn't it interesting? They can only do that. and They can only use me in the shadow world of the darkness of night. Or when a man is sleeping, they decide to put a fright. You see, your abuse and your sexual assault on my face is not your lawful right under any house of the Lord or any law of the land, and you are abusers at hand. You see, you're using your hands to harm someone. You're using your medical practice to be malfeasant, and openly, people don't like maleficent people. They like righteous people, but a righteous child does not abuse a man's face, body, and go wild thinking, I'm in charge of him. I've got you. You don't have me. The Lord has me. And your abomination to the Lord's house is every fucking time a brother or sister says, I've got you. You don't. Jesus Christ has me. My faith in Odin, the oldest version at this time known of God in works on scripture, has me. And openly, my prophetic gifts do let me know some things that are going to be allowed by the Lord's house to me. Satan as an aggressor, an usurper, and a assaulted personality exists in America today, usually in people who want to take a human body and play. You are a Satan worshiper if you are sexually accosting someone like me and ruining my rights to practice my faith and my religious priesthood is mine, not yours, any day. The Lord promises in Isaiah 40 that he will raise people up on eagle's wings. He will help them walk with the weary and he'll help them to move their life out of something that is dreary. So when you start to play as if you're righteous in God's house, but you're sexually assaulting someone, cutting their beards off because you decided to feed someone like a dog, you just failed yourself in front of God.